Here I have a cone and a platonic object. I want to place the cone on the platonic object using the place tool. So I'll select the place tool and get the cone on the uh, surface of the platonic object. The first option is reference point, uh, which is used as, depending on the bounding box. So if I select the cone, you'll see there is an imaginary bounding box which determines a, the uh, dimensions of the object that encompasses the object that is used as reference to place the object on the surface. You can also use the axis. So uh, if I select the cone and go to the move tool, you'll see the axis is not at the base, but somewhere in the middle. Now let's uh, select the place tool again. If I use the axis, you can see the axis is on the surface of the object. Let's select the bounding box again and move it a little bit to put it back to how it was. The orientation is the normal that is used to orient the object on the surface. And the normals are imaginary, imaginary lines on each polygon of the surface that are perpendicular to the surface. If you want to see the imaginary lines, uh, select the polygon, press C, go to the uh, polygon tool, select and go to the move tool, select each polygon, select all the polygons, you'll see black lines. These are the lines that determine the orientation of, uh, of the normals. Now, uh, let's select the object mode, select the place tool again. And uh, you can also uh, keep the orientation of the object. If an object is in a certain orientation and you want to keep that orientation, you can do that. But let's put it back to normal. You can also choose a custom orientation. But we're not going to talk about that. The up direction is the uh, the axis of the object that, that is perpendicular to the surface. So here the y axis is perpendicular. If you select the cone, go to the move tool, you'll see this is the y axis. If you want to make the x axis perpendicular, you can do that as well. Select the place tool, make the x axis perpendicular, and this is how it will look. Let's put it back to y, to the y axis, and offset you can uh, create a space between the object and the surface by adding a certain value here now if you place the object you'll see if you change the view uh, angle you'll see that there's an, a space between the object and the surface let's put that back to zero prevent prevent collision is not selected by default if you select it uh, and there is an, an obstacle in front of the object. The object will stop when the when it collides with the other with another object. So let's create a sphere and put it on top of the object. Now, if I scale the cone using the place tool, the cone will stop scaling. If I select this cube, and and if the cone touches the another object, will, the bounding box will turn red and the scaling will stop. That's because the prevent collision is selected uh, the last option is clone mode you can uh, if you want to clone the uh, the object which in this case is the cone you can uh, choose to create a copy so by holding control and the cone is selected you can create another copy and another copy or you can create an instance so with the last cone selected I'll choose instance and now I put it uh, I create a copy and another copy. An instance is useful when the when you want to make modification to the original object. All the instances will follow. And so, if I uh, go to the move tool and make uh, uh, scale the object up, the other instances will scale up as well. This is how you use the place tool.